What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be talking about saturation and why I believe that KDP will never ever be saturated. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video we're going to be talking all about saturation. Now if someone ever tells you that anything, even KDP is saturated, oh don't do KDP, there's too many people, it's far too saturated, you won't make any money. This is mainly a limiting belief which is stopping them from actually making any changes in their life. Saturation is a good thing, there is competition obviously, but it shouldn't stop you from making sales. Now most people use saturation as an excuse for not doing well. So let me say that again, most people use saturation as an excuse for why they're not doing well, when realistically it's probably their book cover, their niche, their keywords and all of that. It's not going to be saturation. Now, when it comes to actual low content books, there's hundreds, well, probably hundreds of different types of low content books. There's thousands of niches within these types of low content books. And then there's thousands of keywords within these low content books as well. And what I'm going to do is just show you an example of that because you want a, or should I say an, you want an abundance mindset, not a scarcity. So when you say that KDP is saturated, that's a scarcity mindset. You don't want that, you want an abundance. And within this video, I'm going to show you how there's thousands or hundreds of low content books. Well, I'm not going to show you that part, but show you how there's thousands of niches and then show you how there's thousands of keywords within these niches showing you that it's not saturated. So let's go on here, all departments. Let's type in a low content book. So let's do coloring book. Let's do this. Most people, when they create a coloring book, they're just going to target coloring book. They're not even going to niche down. But right off the bat, just from typing in coloring book, we can see all these different types. So we have lots of different age ranges. So we have four to eight, two to four, eight to 12. Kids, girls, boys, anatomy, anime, adult, Disney, I'll stay away from that. But toddlers, kids, these are all different types of niches. Now this, isn't even scratching the surface when it comes to niches for coloring books. Now all this is, this is a Chrome extension called AMS Suggestion Expander, where when you put in your keyword up here in the search bar, it's going to pull up all related keywords related to that main keyword. And right off the bat, we can see how many different types of coloring books there are just by typing in coloring book. And this is not even niching down. So if I were to niche down, I'd start putting keywords in front of it. Now those keywords can be anything related to hobbies, sports, animals, food, pet, jobs. All these are different types of niches. So if you were to go to the animal route, we could type in a bear. Bear colouring book. And look at this, there's more keywords. Now the more keywords there are means the more popular a niche is. So bear coloring book is fairly popular because there's a few more keywords. Now, if we did something like unicorn, we can see there's a lot more traffic with a lot more niches within this niche. See, most people who are going to create a unicorn coloring book are just going to target unicorn coloring book and they're not going to make very many sales because there's a lot of competition just for unicorn coloring book. But if you were to do a little bit of research, we're going to see how many more keywords there are just for unicorn coloring book. And again, it comes into that age range. We have four to eight, eight to 12, four to eight, two to five, four girls. So this is just for unicorn. And look at all of these keywords. Again, there's going to be thousands of keywords for thousands of niches. So I really don't understand when people say it's saturated because it's clearly not. They just have no idea what they're talking about. They're not really making any sales. So they use the saturation myth as an excuse for why they're not making any money. 
when realistically, if they knuckled down, did better keyword research, created better covers, better books, and all of that, they would start making money. And then their mindstef, mindstef? <laughs> mindset would completely change. But again, look at this. So just one niche, and that is unicorn coloring book, we can see how many different keywords there are. Now, if we do this, just put four, now we have a few more as well. Teens, three to five, two to four, two to four. Unicorn coloring book, four to eight. These are all different age ranges. So you could create a unicorn coloring book for all of these different age ranges. And this is just a unicorn. So let's take away that four. Let's take away unicorn. And let's just start putting in some animals. So dog, the dog coloring book. Look at all these different keywords. Let's do a cat, cat coloring book lots more other keywords cat butt coloring book look at that now how a coloring book is just one type of low content book now it's one of the hardest to create so if you don't know how to create them please don't go ahead and try and create them but a coloring book is one niche the cat is one niche within that coloring uh, within that book type and there's going to be thousands especially for coloring book now if we go over to google let's just type in google and let's just type in list of pets. So list of pets. Click enter. And now we have Google telling us all these different types of pets. So we have cats, dogs, birds, rabbits, horses, ferrets, fish. And all these are going to be niches, especially for coloring books. So we did cat, we did dog. Let's do a bird. Bird coloring book. Look at that. Look at all these different types of keywords. So the main book coloring book the niche within that is a bird but then look at all these different keywords so a bird coloring book for seniors bird coloring books for teens ages 12 to 16 girls how specific is that so do you think if you actually created a bird coloring book specifically for teen girls aged 12 to 16 do you think that you would make sales you more than likely would look most people are not niching down they create a book and they, they target that main keyword and then wonder why they're not getting sales and again blame it on saturation as you can see kdp is never just going to be saturated there's so many different types of books then there's thousands of niches within those books and then thousands of keywords that you can target within those books as well as you can see from here all we've looked at is coloring books and we looked at dogs cats birds and so far you can see just how many different types of keywords there are so you need to flip your mindset stop having a scarcity mindset get an abundance mindset and stop saying everything is saturated because it's clearly clearly not now again that was just for bird so if we go back over we can check out rabbit a rabbit coloring book rabbit coloring book we can see people are searching this not as many keywords but again this is more niching down rabbit coloring book for adults four to eight two to four teens toddlers four to eight again and again this is just for coloring books so we could change this out we could do composition oh comp o session notebook and right off the bat we can see people are searching for a rabbit composition notebook we could do a dog dog composition notebooks we could do a cat cat composition notebooks and we could go through all these lists of animals pets sports hobbies foods there's just so many different types of niches out there with thousands of keywords attached to them as we can see just here now one thing i want to note really quick because i almost forgot to talk about it and that is our 20k subscriber sale will be ending tomorrow so you have one more day to take action it will end on wednesday the 21st of july at 9 pm gmt which again is tomorrow now if this looks a little bit different to what i've been showing recently i've had a few problems with click funnels over the past few days so i had to take all this and whack it on my own wordpress website so if you wonder why this looks a little bit different that is why anyway back to here because i really want you to understand this 
There's hundreds of different types of low-content books. There's thousands of niches within those types of low-content books. And then there's thousands of keywords within those low-content books. It comes down to research and creating good quality books. If you create a good quality book, even in a competitive niche, if you create a good quality book, people are naturally going to find it, they're going to buy it, and they're going to leave reviews in turn moving you up the rankings. So again, it all comes down to creating good quality books. Now let's take a look at this one more time so you can really, really grasp the idea of saturation isn't actually a thing and how it's just a mindset change. Look, even when I started back in November 2018, I believe, even back then, people were saying that it was too saturated and you shouldn't do it because there's just far too many books. Now, remember what I said at the beginning? Most people use saturation as an excuse for why they're not doing well. If they don't make any sales, they're going to say it's saturated because they're not making any sales. When realistically, it just comes down to their books, their niches, their covers, their keywords, and all of that good stuff. Not every single book that you create is going to sell. You could have the best cover in the world, the best title, the best keywords, and still not make any sales. That's just the reality of it. Anyway, we took a look at composition notebooks, colouring books. You could do this with activity books. You could do it just with notebooks there's literally thousands of niches just for notebooks alone especially when it comes to hobbies sports animals pets food even food so who would have thought especially with notebooks so with food but well, not apple actually because an apple notebook is something completely different so let's do a pineapple pineapple notebook we can see people are actually searching for this because this has been auto populated People are searching for pineapple notebook for schools, pineapple notebooks in journals, for work, organiser, for kids, spiral, can't do spiral, but you get the idea. You can change this out for pizza, pizza notebook. Look, people are actually searching for this. Then you can go through the animals. You could do a sloth notebook. That's a little bit overdone by now, but you get the idea. Niches are absolutely everywhere. There's so many different types of low content books with notebooks, composition, colouring books, log books, planners, and there's thousands of niches within these book types, and then there's thousands of keywords within these book types too. It all comes down to research. Now, come over to the channel and take a look at our videos from the last few days, because there's a few videos that I want you to look at being this one this is going to share with you or show you how to brainstorm niches pretty fast so we brainstorm a niche or a list of niches so that way after we've done the brainstorming session you can use those niches to find your keywords and that's what we do in this one we do it completely for free using free tools and then in the next video in this one we use helium 10 because there's multiple ways that you can do your niche research so come through and check these videos out and just remember that saturation doesn't really exist it exists in the mind only in your mind if you believe something's going to be saturated and you're not going to make any sales guess what it's going to be saturated and you won't make any sales so it all comes down to mindset and the way that you look at things remember i believe that kdb can't be saturated because there's hundreds of different book types, there's thousands of niches within those book types, and then thousands of different niches, no, keywords, that I can target for different types of books. And remember, when most people say that something is saturated, they're using that as an excuse for why they're not doing well. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.